Hi, this is Tim from Infinity, and today we're going to be installing and putting together the Meridian massage chair. Uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be installing the arms on the chair, and we'll be installing the leg rest, and then we'll be just going through to make sure that the installation is complete. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the arm, in this case we're taking the right arm, and we're going to install the air hoses and electrical connections. Uh, you'll find that the right arm actually has two more electrical connectors than the left arm because it has the control panel and the USB. Uh, so this one's a little more complicated. But you just connect black to black and red to red. And the black connectors, there are two black connectors, but they're one is three and one is four, so they really don't mix up. You, you can't make a mistake there. So you connect those up, and then you take the air hoses and just look. There's, they're color-coded. There's a blue and a green, and you just take the blue and the green from the arm, connect them up. Okay, so now that you have all the connections made, you'll notice there's a piece of cloth attached that has Velcro on it. You just want to wrap that gently around the hoses and the electrical connectors, and then connect the Velcro together so that they're bundled nicely. This keeps them from getting caught in any of the mechanicals. And once you have them bundled together, you're ready to install the arm. Okay, so for installing the arm, we're going to just notice that there's a square piece of steel here in the front of the chair that has two screw holes in it. And what you're going to do is take the bracket on the arm that also has two holes in it and line them up with the screw holes. And it also has a bracket on the top of this bracket that goes over the top of this piece of steel. So it's sort of like a hook that holds it on. So we're going to move that over, move the arm over, move the hook over the top, hook it in, and then in the back we're just going to line up the screws and then lay it down in place and it's ready for the screws. You'll find in the kit that there are two size screws. There's a short screw and a long screw. The longer one is for the rear. And if you look, there's, there's a couple of different places where there are screws in here, but some of them are just for these trim pieces. You're really only looking for these two holes in the black plastic, and that's where the screws go in and mount the arm to the body. So now we're just going to be installing the trim piece that goes into the, to cover up the screws that we just put in. Um, keep in mind there are two of these trim pieces, and they are labeled left and right, right here on the, on the trim piece in the back of the piece, left and right. And left is sitting in the chair, right is sitting in the chair, not facing the chair, but sitting in the chair. So this side, even though I'm facing it, it looks like left to me, it's actually, this is the right side from sitting in the chair. So I'm going to use the right bracket. And the way it works is there's a, a clip that's going to go straight down into a little slot here on the chair. So it's going down in this direction. And then at the bottom, there's a ball and socket that's going to go in this direction. So we're going to start out here, moving down from the top at a sort of a slight angle, and then we squeeze it in, give it a little twist so that it goes in place, and then line up the slot on the top so that that's in. Push the bottom down in until the ball and socket engages, and the trim piece is done. And on a side note, this, this piece of plastic is a little bit brittle. You do want to be very careful when you're putting it in there. Just be as gentle as possible. Don't try to force it. Just let it flow in. Um, if you're forcing it, you're going to break it. So if you have to force it, back out and try again. Start again until it goes in smoothly, because it will break. OK, so now we're going to install the leg rest on the chair. And to do that, we're just going to move it over to the front of the chair. And we're going to take a look at the connectors. We've got an air hose that just connects up real easy. And then there's an electrical connector. And this only goes one way. Uh, you don't want to flip it upside down. You want to make sure that the thumb catch on the leg rest side matches up with the little latch on the body side and just push them together until it clicks and then these are connected. Now we move over to the axle that's going to hold the leg rest and on this axle we're going to take one of these uh, plastic bushings and it has a little notched top on it and that notched top needs to be out so we're going to slide it on with the notched top out and then we're going to turn it so that you can see the hole you don't want to cover the hole with the notch. You want the hole to be exposed and that hole is going to be for the flat part of this cotter pin to go through and hold the leg rest on. But we're not going to install this yet. Okay, so now we're going to be taking the leg rest and installing it onto the body of the chair. 
and you'll notice that at the top of the leg rest there are brackets on either side with holes in them and these holes go over the axles on the body of the chair and what we'll do is we'll take one side slide it all the way onto the axle so that we can then slide the other side on and center it and I'll show you how to do that so we'll just take the leg rest and slide one side all the way on and then that allows you to take the other side and slide it on and move it in about halfway and then let the leg rest go down and now you can take the cotter pins and you can slide them into the to the hole and that will hold the leg rest on permanently and the final step for the leg rest is we're going to just take this flap and we're going to tuck it underneath the body cushion held on by velcro so we'll tear it up slide this flap down and then press the body down onto that velcro and now it's fully installed one of the final steps is to install the remote control you basically just plug this in at the back of the chair it does have a thumb screw to screw it on so it holds it in tight and then you're going to put in the power cord and the mandatory final step is to turn on the chair and select a auto massage and we're going to watch the chair we're going to make sure all the airbags inflate make sure the arm airbags inflate shoulder airbags inflate make sure the leg rest airbags are all inflating and once we've confirmed everything works the install of the meridian is complete